Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. We're coming to you for Saturday's report, November 16th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in college football, and we'll get to all that in just a minute. First, quick note, if you have yet to take advantage of the DocSports.com membership, if you're not yet a member, it's a real cool way to give it a trial run if you click on over to DocSports.com today. Click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any one else on the roster over at DocSports.com. It's cool, it's as simple as that. Great way to give DocSports a, a, a good trial run. $60 free account comes with the DocSports guarantee. Can't beat that with a stick. Click on the link below the video to get started for the free $60 account. All right, we're coming to you early, in fact, uh, as our Friday game is about to kick off. Uh, that's when we're coming to you with this video. We like to get these out on weekends early. We started off the weekend in football. The nice win on Thursday night with the Cleveland Browns with our premium picks, and we've got several more to go uh, Saturday and Sunday. And, of course, on Sunday, I've got a big eight-unit side going in Sunday's NFL football. 75% with our regular season eight-unit football sides since I've been at DocSports.com. That's lifetime at DocSports.com. You know about what we've done in the NFL. We are now 79 and 53, 60% against the spread with our last 130 plus. Got a couple of pushes in there also. And then in college football, 175 and 133 is our long-term record. And over the last few weeks now, we are hitting about 62% against the spread over the last three or four weeks. You know, a couple of weeks ago, we had the, three weeks ago, we had the 10 and one week with our free and premium picks. Last week, we come back and we ended up uh, going a, a nice eight, three and one with our free and premium picks in football, college football, NFL combined, premium free picks combined. So it's been a pretty nice run for most of the last few weeks. And again, we'll look to continue that run uh, this weekend. Again, we've got college football on Saturday. We've got NFL on Sunday. And that eight unit play on Sunday is the big daddy of them all. The Saturday play, by the way, we've got a six unit play in Saturday's college football so don't miss out on that. We've done quite well with our six-unit football plays so far this season. But um, anyway, that's what's going on in football. Uh, again, we're getting this video out there before our games get underway on Friday night. They're just getting underway. And uh, here's what else is going on for us. We'll be in college basketball action on Saturday. Ton of games. That'll be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. NBA, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And we'll be back in the NHL, also at 1 p.m. Eastern on Saturday. Tremendous runs, 75% the last few days in college baskets going 3-1. and one. In fact, we were just a two-point shot away from being 4-0 over the last three days in college baskets when St. Mary's came up a bucket short on Thursday. And then as far as NBA, we're hitting 60% in the NBA with our last 90-plus picks going back to last year. October-November run in NHL, 43-24. and 24. Don't miss out on our entire card. UFC has a card on ESPN Plus on Saturday, and uh, we'll have those picks for you by Friday night, 11 p.m. Pacific time over at DocSports.com. So if you're watching before 11 p.m., p.m. Pacific on Friday. Wait till then. You'll be able to get those UFC picks. And if you're watching after uh, 11 p.m. Pacific on Friday, you'll be able to get those picks right up until fight time. So check that out, DocSports.com. And again, NASCAR, big race, Homestead, Sunday. The wrapping things up. We've had a fantastic run. I hate to see NASCAR taking a couple of months off. We are on 14 and 3 and 21 and 6. NASCAR runs going all the way back to May 1st. When this week will be up over $7,000 since May 1st for those wagering just $100 dollars per unit nascar picks will be available by 11 p.m pacific saturday night for sunday's report okay enough of all that let's get to our uh, report in college football for saturday first of all a couple of the betting reports on a couple of big games georgia of course at auburn with the bulldogs laying two and a half to three more threes right now uh, than two and a half total right around 41 and a half uh, ticket count by the way 59 percent on georgia 41 percent on auburn money uh, uh, so far is 75 percent on georgia 25 percent on the auburn tigers the other big game on the board well there's a few of them you got iowa minnesota of course uh, and also of course you've got Baylor Oklahoma and we're going to talk about Baylor Oklahoma for our free pick uh, tickets 58% on Baylor in this one 42% on OU listen 
I get it. If you're a strict numbers guy, and I'm one, I have power ratings. I put out my numbers for myself, my power ratings, a week in advance. So for instance, yesterday, Thursday afternoon, I got my numbers out for next week in college football. And uh, I've explained this in the past. It's a great tool to be able to do that a week in advance. And I get it. The numbers say the Sooners should be laying more than 10, 10 and a half here. But sometimes there's more to it than the numbers. This Oklahoma defense is pathetic. The pass defense. I looked at what they did against Brock Purdy last week. Brock Purdy lit him up in the second half, uh, the Iowa State quarterback. And also, this team's given up 89 points in the last two games. Not only that, but when I started digging, I kept looking for when was the last time Oklahoma had an interception. You got to go all the way back to September 14th against UCLA. Since then, they got no picks. They've given up 10 touchdown passes along the way. I, I don't like the defense. That's not all on Lincoln Riley. That's his assistance also. Uh, the offense is fantastic. One of the best we've seen in the last couple of decades, obviously. Jalen Hurts does a fantastic job. But even the offense, I didn't like the way the play calling was against Kansas State. That was a one-point game at halftime against K-State. Yet for the entire game, they ran the ball. Their top two running backs ran the ball six combined times. If you take away Hurts, running plays. So you got a great college quarterback, one of the best in college football this year, not always being coached up as far as the game plan perspective is concerned. But again, you expect him to score a lot of points. Problem is Matt Rule's a better college football coach than Lincoln Riley. Uh, I really do believe that. And I think he's worth a point in this particular game, maybe more. I know the talent level of these two teams is one-sided in Oklahoma's favor, but Baylor's better game plan on defense than is Oklahoma for their upcoming opponents. So again, listen, numbers say OU, uh, but I think you're going to see the Baylor Bears hang this number. It's a situation where I think you got a game that's going to come down to about a four to seven point game. And I've just kind of started to feel this way over the last oh, 24 hours, where I think we can recommend an opinion at least on the Baylor Bears. If you agree, jump on board. If you like Oklahoma, you got to go with what you think is best. Uh, but again, for us, it's a free pick and opinion on the Baylor Bears getting 10 and a half now from the Oklahoma Sooners. And this is a lot to do with Matt Rule over Lincoln Riley. And of course, that uh, OU defense not exactly playing at a championship contending level uh, so far this season. The Baylor Bears, a free pick. It's going to do it for us for Saturday's report. Again, don't forget about everything going on over at uh, DocSports.com for us on Saturday. And of course, the big thing to remember is the eight unit NFL play going on Sunday. Go grab it right now. It's available right now. And uh, that means you're going to get Saturday's college football plus all of Sunday's NFL. And uh, again, the eight unit play is the big one. So it's all available right now. DocSports.com. The other sports, NBA, college basketball, NHL, UFC, all available a little bit later. UFC 11 p.m. Pacific Friday. Those other sports I just mentioned will be available throughout the day. DocSports.com on Saturday. All right, listen, I'm Scott Spritzer for DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that link below uh, that uh, thumbs up below I should say and also be sure to subscribe I do appreciate those who have done so thus far let's put them in the wind column guys on Saturday right back here Saturday night no later than 10 p.m. Pacific we'll look to even get it up a little bit earlier than that but no later than 10 p.m. Pacific on Saturday night the free pick from Sunday's NFL we'll talk to you then